don't think any of your comfort zones are showing. <laughs> yeah, it's your third date. Maybe you could go more sexy. Well, some people think the sexiest organ is the brain. <laughs> no one ever bought me drinks at a bar because my brain just popped out of my shirt. <laughs> Give me back my key. I'm very, very sorry. Do you understand how creepy this is? Oh, yes, we discussed it at length last night. In my apartment, while I was sleeping. And snoring. And that's probably just a sinus infection. But it could be sleep apnea. You might want to see an otolaryngologist. <laughs> the throat doctor. And what kind of doctor removes shoes from asses? Depending on the depth, that's either a <laughs> proctologist or a general surgeon. We have to fill these out. Describe illness or injury. I dislocated my shoulder. All right. And how did the accident occur? You already know that. Cause of accident, lack of adhesive ducts. <laughs> OK, medical history. Have you ever been diagnosed with diabetes? No. Kidney disease? No. Migraines? Getting one. Are you currently pregnant? No. Are you sure you look a bit puffy? Change migraine to yes. When was your last menstrual period? Oh, next question. I'll put in progress. OK, moving to psychiatric disorders. List all major behavioral diagnoses, e.g. depression, anxiety, etc. Oh, my God, what the hell does this have to do with my stupid shoulder? Episodes of subpsychotic rage. <laughs> Ass. Possible Tourette's. Come here. Oh, I'd rather have the bus boy. <laughs> I recently trained a capuchin monkey to smoke cigarettes. Have you learned anything? Yes. He looks much cooler than the non-smoking monkeys. <laughs> Although it's not much of a contest. The other monkeys just sit around and masturbate. <laughs> what? This is a complex battle simulation with a steep learning curve. There are myriad weapons, vehicles, and strategies to master, not to mention an extremely intricate backstory. Oh, cool! Whose head did I just blow off? Mine. Okay, I got this. Lock and load, boy! That's television and movies. Section 9, miscellany. <clears throat> the apartment's flag is a gold lion rampant on a field of azure. We have a flag? Excuse me. Is it at all possible that you're knitting a pair of pants? Where are my pants? You might want to check YouTube. Well, let's get down to the math. It is only three-dimensional thinking that limits our imagination. Can I take my pants off over my head? Of course not. My body's in the way. But if we had access to higher dimensions, we could move our pants around our bodies through the fourth dimension. And our days of dropping trousers would be over. Oh, Lord. This couldn't be any more humiliating. Uh, give it a minute. Now for the astronomers in the audience. Get ready to see the dark side of the moon. <laughs> and here's Uranus. I believe that is flag to crotch for checkmate. <laughs> Easy peasy, ooh, so brie. Did you and your wife split up? Oh, you know how it is. We wanted different things. I wanted children, and she wanted a pastry chef named Jean-Philippe. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. No, it's, it's fine. It's why I left England. Uh, it reminded me too much of her cold, gloomy, and easily accessed by a Frenchman through a tunnel. <laughs> oh, hey. Now we go to reverse, warrior. <laughs> How did she get you to do yoga? 
Well, to be honest, I thought she said Yoda. <laughs> and the Oprah Network. <laughs> this is so much better than watching TV like a muggle. Oh, God, never again. I assume by never again, you mean never again will you drink all Penny's beer, then run down to the gas station for a couple of 40s, a box of Slim Jims, and the latest issue of Bombay Badonkadonks. <laughs> I was homesick. The highlight of the evening was when you showed us your Bollywood breakdancing skills. That's very offensive. Yeah, we all thought so. How could you not tell us you were in beauty pageants? Because it's embarrassing. It is, it truly is. about herself and post it on the internet. No! Why? What did I do? Sorry, I had to get the spotlight off me and tearing down other women as part of my pageant training. Okay, we are reading that right now. Oh, please don't. We got embarrassed tonight, come on. No, but it's personal. Why? Is it about you and Sheldon? No. <laughs> Oh my God, it's about her and Sheldon. It's not about me and Sheldon. It's about a young woman in the 1800s named Amelia and the time-traveling physicist named Cooper she falls in love with. Oh, can you please show us? Please. No. Uh, you know I'm gonna read it either way. <laughs> Good luck finding it. Uh, Amelia and the time trap. Found it! <laughs> Sorry, the napkin's dirty. He wiped his mouth with it. <laughs> Possess the DNA of Leonard Nimoy? Well, yeah, yeah, I guess, but look, he signed it. Do you realize what this means? All I need is a healthy ovum, and I can grow my own Leonard Nimoy. My bongos. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that I had bongos. Sheldon, it's three o'clock in the morning. Three in the morning is a good time for bongos. <laughs> I was sleeping. Leonard sleeps while I play bongos. No, he doesn't. Leonard no sleep while I play bongos. Bongo solo. His whip snapped, Thor's hammer missed. It was Avenger versus archaeologist. Vindy held his ground and straightened his fedora. Thor said, that's a nice look in 1944. -a. With lightning, the other plays with bones. Thor and Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones. Thor and Dr. Jones. One plays with lightning, the other plays with ever invents time travel, we agree our first stop will be this meeting today in precisely five seconds. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. This is such a relief. I mean, honestly, if it didn't get you all worked up, I'd kiss you right now. Good call. Seeing your Teen Titans underwear really got my motor running. Do you think I could try going a little faster? 
Go for it, champ. Ow! Sorry, just ease on the gas and... Oh, too much! Too much! Why was I scared of this? This is exhilarating! No, it's not! Slow down! Don't tell me what to do! You're not my father! What are you doing? I'm going to be late. I'm pacing nervously. You're jogging. This is how the Flash paces. Just chill out, Sheldon. I'm not Sheldon, I'm the Flash. And now I'm going to the Grand Canyon to scream in frustration. I'm back. I'm Batman. Oh, I hardly think so. The real Cape Crusader calls his crime-fighting cohorts when he's running late. I had to walk. I couldn't get Raj on the back of my scooter. I said this before and I'll say it again. Aquaman sucks. Well, hello. Hello. Would you care for a brandy? I don't think so. Good choice. It's disgusting. Sheldon, please stop trying to seduce me. Who's trying to seduce you? After a long day, I always turn on smooth jazz and spray deer musk on my inner thighs. <laughs> Thought it smelled like a petting zoo in here. Anything you'd like to pet? Hey, but, but, not my hair. There's a lot of goop in it. <laughs> okay, I've had enough. You, what, what? Amy, come back. I don't know how to open the oysters. The thought of you sitting in a darkened theater with a character like Stuart is repellent. <laughs> no offense, Stuart. None taken. Although repellent is kind of a kind of a strong word. I'm sorry this causes you discomfort, but based on the currently established parameters of our relationship, I can put myself in any repellent situation I want. Um, again, Stuart, please, you're being rude. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes the clippers tickle me. Before you is a, a giant oak tree with a face on it that looks a lot like Nicolas Cage. <laughs> he says, travel with caution. <laughs> These woods are home to the bones of many a fallen hero. Uh, see, Howard's just as good a dungeon master as I am. As good? Well, you just got pantsed in the schoolyard, four eyes. <laughs> Sheldon, what did you do? I know. <laughs> it's not enough, is it? Here. I didn't have you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Make way for the fastest man alive. Oh, no. Well, hey, Penny, come on in. Hey, guys. See a Penny, pick her up, and all the day you'll have good luck. Uh, no, you won't. Oh, Penny, Penny, Penny. Oh, what, what, what? This is a complex battle simulation with a steep learning curve. There are myriad weapons, vehicles, and strategies to master, not to mention an extremely intricate backstory. Oh, cool, whose head did I just blow off? Mine. Come on, I want to stop at Walgreens and pick up some more eyeliner. They're gonna get beaten up at that club. They're gonna get beaten up at Walgreens. <laughs> oh no. Are all the machines taken? <laughs> what are you gonna do? No problem. 
I'll just do my laundry another night. Another night? Well, I guess you can try, but deep inside your heart, you'll know that laundry night is always Saturday night. <laughs> Woman, you are playing with forces beyond your ken. Yeah, well, your ken can kiss my Barbie. Yo, Raj, talk to me. <laughs> ah, sorry, just screwing with you. Hey, Howard, why haven't you called Bernadette? Did she say something? Yeah, she said she hasn't heard from you in a week. I thought you liked her. I do, yeah, but she wants a commitment. And I'm not sure she's my type. She agreed to go out with you for free. What more do you need? <laughs> yeah, are you familiar with the Higgs boson? <laughs> of course. It is, it's been in the news, and it's a very famous boson. Yeah. <laughs> Nice try. Now, in 1964, Dr. Peter Higgs, accomplished self-promoter and physicist, he wrote a paper postulating the existence of a subatomic particle called the Higgs boson. Now, initially, the paper was rejected, but recently, he was proven right. And now he's on the fast track to win a Nobel Prize. Yeah, that's basically what I said. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. More Halloween candy? Didn't you just buy a bunch of it yesterday? Oh, yeah, that's gone. <laughs> It's a rough month when Halloween and PMS sit at the same time. Look, I get it. It's still my room. We haven't really made it yours. Thank you. Which is why I got you this pink Power Ranger. <laughs> Put it anywhere you like. OK, but you may feel some discomfort. <laughs> he stole my comet. I know, but on the other hand, do you really care? Yes, I care. This happens to me all the time. People take one look at me and assume I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm sure that's not true. I'm sorry, are you saying I don't know what I'm talking about? It's just a haircut and some clothes. No, it's the last straw. I can't take any more. <laughs> want dessert, but I know Sheldon doesn't eat dessert on Tuesdays, and even if Raj wanted something, he couldn't tell me. Howard won't order anything, but he will come up with some sort of skeevy comment involving me the words pie or cheesecake. <laughs> and Leonard's lactose intolerant, so he can't eat anything here without his intestines blowing up like a balloon animal. <laughs> Amy Farrah Fowler, you're Sheldon Cooper. Hello, Amy Farrah Fowler. I'm sorry to inform you that you have been taken in by unsupportable mathematics designed to prey on the gullible and the lonely. Additionally, I'm being blackmailed with a hidden dirty sock. If that was slang, I'm unfamiliar with it. If it was literal, I share your aversion to soiled hosiery. In any case, I'm here because my mother and I have agreed that I will date at least once a year. Interesting. My mother and I have the same agreement about church. I don't object to the concept of a deity, but I'm baffled by the notion of one that takes attendance. Well, then you might want to avoid East Texas. Noted. Now, before this goes any further, you should know that all forms of physical contact up to and including coitus are off the table. May I buy you a beverage? You know those girls text me every detail of their lives as it happens. I'm not signing a prenup. All right, Howard Wallowitz, listen up. You sign anything she puts in front of you because you are the luckiest man alive. If you let her go, there is no way you can find anyone else. Speaking on behalf of all women, it is not gonna happen. We had a meeting. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how are things on the set? Oh, pretty good, actually. Well, the movie's not as bad as you thought. Oh, no, it is. But I decided instead of complaining about it, I'm just gonna go in every day and give it my all. Good for you. Thanks. There's no reason why I shouldn't be the best bisexual go-go dancer slowly transforming into a killer gorilla anyone's ever seen. <laughs> Your mom's never been too thrilled with our relationship. Maybe I should get her something so she warms up to me. If you could run out and get a PhD, that might make her like you. Really? It didn't work for you. <laughs> Come on, we must know somebody who can do manly stuff like this. So. If you're not in the mood for coffee, I can always make you a chai tea 3 po Oh, I get it. Like C3PO. 
What happened to me? When Darth Vader struck down Obi-Wan, did Luke cry like a baby and go to his funeral? No, he blew up the Death Star. Why do I know this? Before you go, at least let me pack you some attack of the scones for the road. Oh, like attack of the clones. We are leaving right now. Life would be blue. I'd be Doctor Who without the TARDIS. Is it me or does she not look so Shh. good? A candle without a wick, a Watson without a crick. I'd be one of my outfits without a dickie. I'd be cheese without the Mac, jobs without the Wozniak. I'd be solving exponential equations that use basis not found on your calculator, making it much harder to crack. I'd be an atom without a bomb, a dot without the com, and I'd probably still live with my mom. And he'd probably still live with his mom. Ever since I met you, you turned my world around. You supported all my dreams and all my hopes. You're like Uranium-235 and I'm Uranium-238. Almost inseparable isotopes. I couldn't have imagined how good my life would get from the moment that I met you, Bernadette. <laughs> If I didn't have you, life would be dreary. I'd be string theory without any string. I'd be binary code without a one, a cathode ray two without an electron gun. I'd be Firefly buffing Avengers without Joss Whedon. I'd speak a lot more Klingon, Kalaknecht, Cock Judge Vaughn. And he'd definitely still live with his mom. Ever since I met you, you turned my world around. You're my best friend and my lover. We're like changing electric and magnetic fields. You can't have one without the other. I couldn't have imagined how good my life would get from the moment that I met you, Bernadette.